Hi. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to establish measurement in variance of composite model means by con while using smart PLS3. Let me first give you a brief overview of the concept of measurement in variance. April 2010, while describing measurement in variance, states that the loadings and weights of the construct measurement model must not differ significantly within the model. Reason? Reason has been offered by R. Junior et al. 2017, where they say variation in the structural relationships between latent variables could stem from different meanings the group responds attribute to the phenomena being measured, rather than the two differences in the structural relationships. Hence, if you run multiple group analysis (MGA) without establishing measurement invariance your results may not be true ones. Now the question arises how to establish measurement invariance. Hensler et al. 2016 have established a procedure for it. That procedure is detailed in their article testing measurement invariance of composites using partial least care. And uh, you can also see an empirical example given in higher et al. 2018. This procedure involves three steps. In step number one, you have to you have to establish configural invariance. In step two, you have to establish compositional invariance. But if configural invariance is not established, you cannot proceed to step two. And you can proceed to step three only if compositional invariance is established. So you have to move in sequ sequential manners. Let me first give you a, 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 an overview of step number one. In step number one, you have to establish configural invariance. Means you have to ensure that there are identical indicators across the groups. Second, there is identical data treatment across the groups. Three, there are identical algorithm setting criteria across the groups. Remember, this step is, uh, you don't need to worry about this particular step as uh, configural invariance is established by smart PLS 3 automatically. However, you need to make it sure that the, you have adequate sample size in each group. Here is a recommended sample size for a statistical power of 80% as proposed by CON 1992. For example, if maximum number of arrows pointing at a construct in your model they are 7 and you are going to determine adequate sample size at 5 point significance level with a minimum R square value 0.25 so then it shows that you must have at least 80 number of cases present in each group. And if maximum number of arrows pointing at a construct, they are 10, then given the same conditions, so then you need to have at least 91 cases present in each group. Right? So this table is very useful uh, for uh, determining the adequacy of sample size when you are going to carry out multi-group analysis. In step 2, let me, yeah, let me first show you uh, in some odd PLS. Uh, as far as the sample size is concerned. So here is my data set. So let me go to uh, generate data groups and I'm going to create a group for gender and if you scroll it down you see here our variable is present here gender. So all indicators present in your data set there located here. Just click this one gender, just click it OK. So here we go. You see that it shows that there are 211 cases coded as 1 in, in the variable of gender and 155 cases coded as 2. So minim, minimum sample size here in the two groups is 155 means the condition of adequacy of sample size is met here. So let me record them. 
so one is coded as male and two is code for female right so the first step is over now come to second step second step is for compositional invariance means at this step we have to establish whether compositional invariance is there or not if compositional invariance is not established we cannot proceed to step 3 we can proceed to step 3 only if step is step 2 we have established compositional invariance and how to establish it we have to compare original correlation with 5% quantile if original correlation exceeds 5% quantile value or even if it's equal so then compositional invariance is established but if original correlation is smaller than 5% quantile value then uh, 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 compositional invariance is not established so we stop there so that means measurement invariance is not established now let me show you here yeah. so let me go to my model and calculate and come down you see here we have an option of permutation just click it and here male and female groups so group A is for male and group B is for female permutation minimum 5000 but I am I'm using 500 so because it takes very long times and then partially scale make it sure that the factor is concerned and is picked is chosen here so then here you must have 1000 but I am going to use lesser number and just start it so that the entire process is completed in less times. So let me remind you here that in smart PLS3 there is no need for running any test for step 1 except you have to make it sure that adequate sample size is there in each group we have created for multi-group analysis. In step 2 you have to establish compositional invariance. If it is established only then you proceed towards step 3 otherwise you stop there so here we go so let me examine report so if here you see under the group of quality criteria you have one option of my just click it so here we go here are the original correlations which I was referring in step and these are the 5% quantile values. You see, this value is greater than this one. This one is greater than this one. This one is greater than this one. Quite fine. So means compositional invariance is established now. It is also keep in mind that the this value should be non-significant. Mean must be greater than 0 0.05. If compositional variance is not established, then what to do? Then what you can do, you can simply go to the outer loadings here and find out whether any variable is having uh, significant value or not. For example, here in this case, DP2. So then you can remove that one and redraw the analysis. Now come back to step uh, the slides. Now once compositional invariance has been established, now you can proceed to step three. That is composite equality. You have to establish here what you have to do you have to check mean original difference whether that falls between the 2.5 percent and 97.5 percent boundaries or not and also check various original difference falls between 2.5 percent and 97.5 percent boundaries or not if both conditions are met then we say there is a full invariance and if one of the two is not uh, one of the two condition is not met then we say there is a partial invariance and if none of the two condition is met then we say there is no invariance let me show you in smart gals 3 so go back to the results here 
here you see here and uh, yeah let me rerun it again so that and uh, my com in my com you see here in step number two there we go so here is the original difference so this value is minus 0 0.05 so does this value falls between these two values or not minus 2 2 minus 0 0.229 and 0 0.203 yes this value does fall between this one so uh, the, uh, the this one is okay oh, fine and what about this one this one also falls between these two extreme values what about this one so this one also falls between these two values so you see here the first condition is fully met here so mean mean original difference falls between the two boundaries now coming to the variance now so if you go little ahead so here we go so these are the values for the original variance here so this value you have to see whether this value falls between these two extremes or not 2.5 percent and 97.5 percent yes it does what about this one it also falls between these two extremes what about this one this also falls between these two values so in step number three you see so the both of the conditions they have been met here so what does that mean then so there is a full invariance right so with this we can say that uh, my com means uh, measurement invariance is established in this particular case right so this is how you establish measurement invariance in small pillars 3 thanks for watching